if i start the geometry me for the 10th class so wait from wait that uh, things came actually it means uh, means first uh, suppose if i am saying about the triangle in the geometry that is uh, not there in the 10th class only means that uh, triangle is not starting in the 10th class only so today i am going to give the details introductions regarding means how that uh, in triangles came in from which classes you are going to uh, you started the triangle and what you have done before the 10th classes and what is required to you it means you have uh, required for you to solve the questions for in the class 10 so that all things we are going to discuss today so see <clears throat> triangle actually uh, from the third class onwards means they started the figure means geometrical figures means the what type of fig figures means like a triangle is there a square is there a circle is there so many thing they started in the th third class onwards means uh, they give you the pictures what are the pictures means uh, like suppose uh, they show you okay triangle is like that only means three sided figures are there that is a triangle this is a circle and example they gave you this is a sun is look like circle a moon is look like circle some ball whatever you are using in your room that is also look like the circles only understand so those things you started from the third class onward okay so now what changes are happening in the every year means we are dealing with the dealing with the geometry geometry means the from way that points came suppose if i am saying triangle so triangle means that are made from the three line segment about a b and c is a triangle is there means ab one line segment is there and ac is another line segment bc is another line segment when we combine these three lines then we can make the make the triangle but uh, how we can uh, combine those things uh, that is uh, behind that also some uh, reason is there means uh, why this this uh, triangle is look like this only understand so first uh, we have to understand that means how that uh, triangle came and from where that triangle came so in the 50th or 40th or 50th classes they start introducing it now you see today uh, everyone they are preparing for not only for the uh, their 10th class syllabus they are preparing for the uh, aptitude exam also competitive exam also so based on that uh, based on that based on that they are saying means uh, you have to you have to go with the details man understand you have to go with the details manners means how that things are happening and how that things will come understand so see that things are started from the polygon so polygon means polygon means means the things which are in the closed form the things which are in the closed form means they were said okay whatever the figures are there whatever the figure they made from the line segment that must be the closed form understand so they started thinking me suppose if i draw one line if i draw one line means i can't form any figures because i can't make the close there if i draw the two line also i can't make the close figure because if i draw like that also i can't make if i draw like that also i can't make the close figure understand so by may, by using two line segment also we can't draw any triangles so now they they started the framing the third line also and they join that three lines and then they got one close figure understand so after the joining three line segment they got one close figure and this is the first polygon this is the first polygon so which are made from the three line segment understand they are made from the three line segment that is a triangle understand and they gave the name to so three side means tri angle triangle means if the three line segment joined each other they will make three curves in between the two line segment okay that two line segment means each two line segment they are making one curve this is one angle second angle third angle so three angles make close figure that is called triangle so from there they gave the name triangle from the polygon which is the first polygon made from the three line segment and that is a close figure understand so these things they started from the uh, fourth classes onwards understand they started how many diagrams are there means if it is four line segment is there means what type of figures will come so they are quadrilaterals the polygon we will do in the next after the triangles understand so see uh, once they draw the three line segment once they draw the three line segment and that is nothing but triangle 
Understand? So they started. What is triangle? What are the properties of triangles? Is there? Suppose I am. <coughs> they said three line segment is there. Okay, three line segment. Three line segment. Uh, and uh, three angles are there. Three angles. Again, uh, three vertex. Three vertex. Vertex means. The join point between the two line segment. This is the vertex. So if they gave the name like A B C, so A B C is the vertex point. And uh, what are the things are there? So after that uh, means this. These are there in the triangle. Means line segment, three angles, and uh, that vertex. Understand? Now after that, when they know, when they know know the triangle is like that only, then they start the framing. What type of triangles are there? They start the framing. What are the types of triangles? Means how they decided which type of triangle is there. Suppose if I draw one triangle, so what type of triangle is there? Suppose, uh, suppose we are human beings. They have the all all human beings look like same one. But then also for separations means they they are giving some such names. Understand? So like that triangles based on their property, they start framing the name of the triangle. Understand? They start framing based on the thing. So they started. Two type, two way based on angles, and the next name they gave on based on on sides length, side length. Understand? So they gave they gave two ways to decide what type of triangle that is. Uh, what what type of triangle is that? The based on angles, based on side length. Understand? So now what is there in the based on angles means they gave three names. First name. Obtuse angle. First name obtuse angle. Second name they gave acute angle. Acute angle triangle. Acute angle triangle. Third name they gave a right angle triangle. So we have right angle triangle. So these are the three types they gave the name based on based on angles. Understand? So how that things are there? Suppose if I say what is obtuse angle? Suppose If I obtuse obtuse angle, then we can say okay, whatever. Suppose three line segment are there, and one angle, any one angle is more than ninety degree. Any one angle, any one angle is more than ninety degree. Any one, because we know sum of angle of triangle, sum of angle of triangle is nothing but sum of angle of triangle is one eighty degree. Suppose one angle is more than ninety degree, so other two angle must be the sum of two angle must be. Lesser than ninety degree, then there is no possibilities to happen. Is two angles more than ninety degree? Understand? So one property is that obtuse angle means one angle only one angle must be more than ninety degree, and that a triangle is called obtuse angle triangle. Any one angle more than ninety degree. What is acute angle triangle? Acute angle triangle means all angle must be lesser than ninety degree. All angles here. we have to say all angles must be all angles must be must be lesser than lesser than 90 degree all angle must be lesser than 90 degree then we can say that all are the acute angles and that name they gave acute angle triangle but in obtuse angle what they said because one angle only one angle must be Up, means more than 90 degree. One angle must be more than 90 degree. Then they are saying the obtuse angle. But here all angles are less than all angles are less than all angles are less than 90 degree. That's why they are calling it the acute angle triangle. Now the third angle is called <laughs> obtuse uh, right angle triangle. So what is a right angle triangle? Means nothing but one angle. One angle must be 90 degree. One angle must be 90 degree. Then we can call it as a right angle triangle. One angle, any one angle can be 90 degree. Then we can call it that as a right angle. Triangle. So these are the types. These are the types of triangles based on angles. These are the types of triangles based on angles. So let's see what are the types of triangles based on sides. What are the types of triangles based on the sides? So give three types. So if all sides are same. <coughs> Equilateral triangles, equilateral, equilateral triangles. Second one, they gave the name isosceles triangles. Isosceles triangles. Third angle, they gave scalene triangles. 
scalene triangle. Scalene triangle. Now, equilateral triangles means is what isosceles triangle is what scalene triangle is what so the equilateral triangle equilateral means all sides are same when they mention all sides are same so this is a two centimeter this is two centimeter this is also two centimeter the side length of all the sides of the triangle the side length of all the sides of the triangles are same then we can call it as a right angle and when we call it as a equilateral triangle understand this one so now so these these are the equilateral triangles. What is isosceles triangle? Any two arms, any two arms, any two arms are same. Suppose this is four centimeter, this also four centimeter, and base are different. It can be anything. So if it is equal to four centimeter, then that is called equilateral triangle. So any two arms, any two. You can say these two also, these two also, or these two also. So any two arms are same, then we can call it as a Isosceles triangles and what is scalene triangles? Scalene triangle is nothing but all sides are different. All sides are different. All sides are different means this will be the three centimeter. This is four centimeter. This is five centimeter. We can write. So all sides are different. That is called scalene triangles. Okay. So these are the types of triangles based on. These are the types of triangles based on based on length of line segments. Length of line segment they are choosing. Understand? So, okay. So these are the things there in that uh, triangles. Means up to this, they mentions up to sixth classes, the sixth to seventh classes. Everything seventh classes they started means uh, uh, comparing the uh, between the two triangles. Means uh, their congruency, their similarities. They started from the sixth class onwards because they are preparing so many schools like uh, Sri Chaitanya was on the Narayana was on the so many other Alan Bansa, So many things are there. They are started the foundation batch from the sixth classes onwards. So they gave, they started the uh, giving the information from the sixth class onwards. So you can understand what are the things are there. You can understand what are the things are there means what type of what type of things are happening in what type of things are happening in now for the syllabus means how their students are preparing for the syllabus. Understand. So okay. Uh, in the next classes, I'll say means uh, what are there after that means after the giving the name of the triangles based on the side and the angles. I'll, I'll tell you so what are there in a the triangle second. Okay, so thank you everyone. Uh, we will see in the next uh, next uh, lectures what is there in the triangle. Okay, thank you everyone.